statistically quantization is rounding off the values to one of the closest permissible numbers or quantized levels. Now if you can see over here, let this be my maximum positive amplitude which is MP and let this be my negative amplitude, maximum negative amplitude or the minimum amplitude which is minus MP. So this positive MP and this minus uh, MP is my range of this amplitude of this message signal. Now I have divided this range from minus MP to positive MP to quantize levels. If you can see over here we have 16 quantized levels. Quantized levels are denoted by L. So in this case we have 16 quantized levels and these quantized levels are of equal step size. If you can see the step size between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2 the step size are equal. So this is actually uniform quantization where the step size are equal. And this step size, this step size between this for example from here to here are from here to here this is denoted by del v r q so del v r q denotes this step size and this step size is going to be given as because we have 16 levels and the range of the amplitudes are minus mp to positive mp so this step size will be equal to del v is equal to q is equal to positive mp minus into minus mp divided by the number of levels which are l so we have L quantized level. So this will be equal to del V is equal to Q is equal to 2 MP divided by L. So you need to remember this equation that each of the step size is 2 MP divided by L. So if you can see over here in quantization we limit the amplitude of the message signal to the range minus MP to MP. The amplitude range is divided into L uniformly spaced intervals, each of it to MP divided by L. I have already described this that we have the length, we have the width, the step size Q is equal to 2 MP divided by L. A sample value is approximated by the midpoint of the interval in which it lies. Now from this statement we try to understand the quantization level. Because I have equally spaced uh, 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 quantized quantize levels this means that the step size is the same whenever the amplitude is in between the two for example the amplitude is in between 8 and 9 that is at 8.5 I'm going to either assign it to 8 or 9 so in this case the midpoint is going to be either assigned to 8 or 9 less than 8.5 that's easy I'm going to assign it to 8 less uh, greater than 8.5 I'm going to assign it to 9 but if I'm at the midpoint at 8.5 I'm going to either assign it to A or to 9 because the total spacing is equal to del V so that's why this total spacing is equal to del V so that's why the maximum error in this case because I'm assigning the midpoint to either of the quantized values to 8 or 9 so the maximum quantized error is going to be del V divided by 2 or Q divided by 2 because del V or Q I have denoted the same. So this is your maximum quantization error and in this in this case in this case we have uniform quantization and the maximum quantization error, error is Q by 2 equal to the uh, half of the step size. The other thing you need to understand that increasing the number of quantization level L is going to reduce the step size and this is going to reduce the quantization uh, error. If you can see over here we have L is equal to 16. If I increase this L through let's say 256 then the step size is going to decrease. This step size for example which is now from 14 to 15 to 12 to 13 which is uniform in that case then we are going to have values 0 to 256 and in that case the step size is going to decrease and when decrease of the step size del v or the q quantization error will again be del v divided by 2 or q divided by 2. So with increasing the number of quantization levels the step size is going to decrease and as a result quantization error is going to reduce. So that's what I have written here that increasing the number of quantization levels due to the step size which decreases the quantization error. Thank you.